Das heißt schon heute nicht. Back to our stupid Rex indeed, it's Corbin. And he follows on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Thank Patreon, follow on official Twitter account. Today, uh, we are reacting to a very long video. So remember, strap in. Remember when we used to call them Shahid and everybody was laughing at us yeah. because we were calling him a martyr and I we do. didn't know what that meant? I do. Uh, we are reacting to the 2019 round table. The, uh, this is by a, the interviewer, his name is... Um, Rajiv Massam. Yeah, he's a he's a movie critic, interviewer, all that kind of stuff. Um, now, is this the Bollywood Actors Roundtable? Would this be comparable yes, to the Actors Roundtable? Actors Roundtable here. Yeah, the okay. variety one. Yeah, uh, it's basically the same thing. This one has uh, Shahid Kapoor, Ranveer Singh, uh, Ayushman Karana. Cool. And then it also has two that we're not as familiar with, but uh, but we've seen VJ oh. Barma, that him. Oh, from, sweet! From yeah, Gully Boy. From Gully Boy. And the then VJ. And then also yeah. him from uh, Article 365 yep. and uh, Del We haven't actually seen anything of his right. yet, um, but it, it's just them. No, but I remember his face from the trailers and people telling us he's a great actor. Yeah, so yeah. this is just awesome. uh, that. And uh, the interviewer, uh, Ron Jeev, uh, gave us permission. So thank you so much. Thank you. We really appreciate that uh, because we love hearing actors talk about acting. You can listen to it all day. I hope you can too. Yeah, yeah. because it's long. We're gonna be here for a little while, yep. so strap in, get five or ten cups of chai, <laughs> and here we go. And also our subbers subbed it, because it's mostly in English, but, really? the, but there is some Hindi that wow, they- Wow, uh, you guys, they went this whole hour-long thing. Well, no, it's mostly in English. Okay. There, there is, they found the spots where they Hindi. go off into- Yeah. So, thank you so cool, much. Cool, thank you. Here we go. The Hindi film hero has changed dramatically since we last checked. The most overused hey. virtues of your standard male protagonist, honorable to a fault, squeaky clean, frequently larger than life savior angel, that Rambo? have for the most part been replaced by vulnerability and an everyman quality. In 2019, our favorite leading men sportingly showed off their grades. Some went brazenly bored. They showed us you could be a physically strong army man who has the josh and has a soft side as well. They showed us that their egos needn't crumble when women do the heavy lifting. In Article 15, Ayushman Khurana imbued empathy and righteous rage Great into the job. role of an urban, educated IPS officer confronted with the horrors of the caste system. In Bala, playing a young man crippled by insecurity over his rapid hair loss, Ayushman struck just the right chord between humor and heartache. Jindo, in Gully Boy, Ranveer Singh practically vanished into the role of a rapper from Dharavi whose dreams outsize his reality. Channeling his anger into poetry through a performance that was equal parts aching and electric, he kept your eyes riveted to the screen. <laughs> Also in Gully Boy, he, he was Vijay Verma peeled away yeah. the layers to reveal like the to stars have been slighted despite his place as the Sultan of the Slum. It was a magnetic, ultimately heartbreaking portrayal of a man who clearly deserved better. He did really well. Shahid Kapoor delivered an intense, compelling Best performance friend. as an entitled lover who spirals on a self-destructive streak when separated from the woman he loves and believes that he owns in Kabir Singh. In committing fully to the character, he flirted fearlessly with the possibility of coming off as distinctly unlikable. And as a smug defense lawyer, really unafraid to ask the uncomfortable questions while fighting a rape case 
in section 375 one of the things i got chewed up on the yeah, with a you know. sharp intelligent performance that was the film's biggest strength crime drama who were and bears wearing by artists who delivered some of the strongest performances what? this year spoke about the role <laughs> that black people that don't get I love it and reveal how long it takes he them to find confidence. the character when they start shooting I mean, a new film. If you look that way. They spoke yeah, about their course. craft and their process when they assembled for the actors round table. Also, I love that they have food. They do. <laughs> well done. Gentlemen, I look around this table and I'm instantly reminded of the incredible performances that each of you have delivered this year. You know, this is the eighth year that we're doing the actors round table and Every single year, this is the exact moment that I'm completely overwhelmed by the volume of talent at one table. So thank you and many congratulations. Thank you. Sir. Thank you know, you. I want to jump right in. I want to ask each of you, what was that one scene or that one moment in your respective films that represented why you wanted to do that film? Hmm. Good question. It's oh, a good, good question. question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> 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 well said. I think I picked Article 15. Article 15. Yes. Yeah, yeah. In fact, that scene where we were discussing casts of all the actors. Right. When they narrated the script to me, I stood up and applauded. That this is it. I'm doing this film. And that scene was, that was a great scene. Scene. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody has blatantly discussed casts ever in mainstream Indian cinema. So right. I think that was one of the golden moments. Incredible. I think in section a lot of the monologues like the yeah. long, big, big, big dialogues, two, three pages, that was... Uh, most actors would be intimidated by monologues. So was I. <laughs> but you don't get an opportunity to do it in most films. So sure. I think that was something that... Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, that's not intimidating. It's I, like, I don't have any specific yeah. moment. Um, I just... Um, I remember ever so vividly the moment where you want to do the film. Mm. Mm. You know, I remember being on a couch at Zoya's house and uh, she played the video off of YouTube of Mere Galim mm. and she was like this is it these are the boys and this is the world and I was like that that was the moment I was like they have to do this I have to do this you know it was so yeah. beautiful when this when I saw the film entry shot and this is what I saw right and this is what I saw correct and they played great like for me, it was like a young Amitabh Bachchan. <laughs> yeah, shot exactly like that, yeah. It was precisely that. I opened the script and you open the script, you're playing a supporting part and it says mowing walks and mowing walks and mowing walks here and then you put this lane and you say, Summa Jari Bete Re. Koi Aega Toh Fatsi Siti Maa. And I was like, first page, I'm sold. Like, it's so beautifully written. And uh, and I just wanted to be in a Zua Yaktar movie. That's about it. And I was desperate to be working with this gang. I have been an admirer of uh, a friend of his work uh, from Lutera and uh, and he killed it in Baji Rao so I was like Chite Ki Chal and <laughs> so, so it was a great opportunity for me Our suffers are fantastic and jumped on it Really great Well the film I did was a remake you know so yeah. I kind of saw the film mm. so it was very different because uh, my first feelings were that the original performance was so good that I didn't want to spoil it mm. uh, but then there was a huge opportunity to do something which I felt was Rather, I mean, you rarely get an opportunity to play a character who's so messed up. I mean, I remember when I saw the film and I saw the interval scene where there is that thing that happens between Preeti and Arjun, right. uh, and Arjun Reddy, and that moment when he slaps her, I was like, he slapped her. Yeah. Like, right. what the? He slapped her. Exactly. And. Uh, yeah. And then that music started playing and then he went and he OD'd and he passed out and that was into it. And I was so, I had so many thoughts running through my head, but I was so fascinated that somebody made a film which was so ballsy and, and which was so raw and wasn't trying to manipulate the audience, but was just expressing things as how they might happen. Yeah. And the character who I'm actually who's the protagonist of the film and I'm hating on him in the interval. Mm -hmm. You know, so and and by the end of the film I actually felt emotional for the character. Yeah, I love no, I didn't comment, this said about coming up so early on in the interview, but I want to ask you, Shail, I know that you've said that you don't see the character of Kabir Singh as a misogynist. You don't see the proprietary behavior that he has, uh, his sense of entitlement on the woman on the woman, the angry outburst, the slap. You said can't, it comes from a place of intense love. Um and and the film did exceedingly well. 
and there were women that connected with it as well for me there was i mean that was as much endorsement as i could have really asked for because the people who loved the film which sure. was a large section of it people was. no film of mine has done even close to this kind of it was yeah uh, you know uh, really got the heart of it right you know and i felt the heart of that film was 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 <laughs> just to tell a very passionate uh, love story about dysfunctional characters but shall did any of the criticism make you sort of think and reflect on why this film was making a sizable number of people uncomfortable first of all i don't think that number was very sizable in comparison to the number of people who liked the film course, of people on the um, but it was a strong point Thank of view and i on the internet we've strong have a problem with people not liking a sure. film that i have done because the whole idea of cinema is for people to have opinions mm. yes and i think only very very potent films which are made very well yes. and highly effective cause that. cause that kind of a reaction such Heck an yes. intense reaction and i think it's great that uh, that film has brought up the conversation of violence mm. in a relationship what's acceptable and what's not acceptable because i think cinema is a tool which is meant to make society reflect upon itself of course and it can't always talk about the right thing right. because if it does that then it's actually being hypocritical and not addressing the issues that lie there the criticism was about the fact that it normalizes abusive behavior but it wasn't normal about it there was nothing normal about it no one thought that what he was doing was good no. out of control character in most films where i mean kilji is an example bad guy romanticized very sexy but but this is the over that here? part of saying heroes and villains does a complex character not deserve to be the protagonist of a film no, no, of course he does should we not allow people who might have made mistakes in the past come on to get a second chance come on is it bad to give hope and whose business is it what happens in a love story the fact is that eventually two people who are in love have to find a way of living with each other mm. and this was a very dysfunctional love story about a very messed up character i think the problem is like that it's a really compelling performance <laughs> it's, yeah. it's the, the problem is that it's a really good performance you're so good that it's it's attractive it, and that's the problem the messaging but i but i hear your point I, and and we and have to change the characters make people feel good or bad till the time they get attached to a character right. mm. they have to connect with the character mm-hmm. otherwise there's no experience the willing suspension of disbelief come on what cinema is based on come on has to happen you have to start connecting with this person yeah. start feeling for them right. when there is just a movie right It's so you have different. to draw them in for them even to not like him at a certain point in time they yeah. have to be interested right. exactly so you have to play it with the total i mean i don't know why i'm having this fundamental conversation because i have seen beijing bull where there was domestic violence and i've seen coffee where no, there was it just has happened in cinema it's, it's, exactly. it's the ultimate messaging right it's it's ultimately what is the messaging it's getting in like. this film he's rewarded at the end of it she's left her husband she comes pregnant and she decides mm. she wants to be with this man so what you and it's done in this i, I would a, never want to go through all that he went through to reach the climax he could have done it a lot simpler right. the day yeah, we come to ask for the gold hand Correct. things could have ended there but then we wouldn't have had a movie <laughs> and it is a work of fiction sure you know so sure. it does have that disclaimer okay uh, but yeah actually section 375 was this very intelligent courtroom drama <laughs> that takes the very um complex subject of rape and the law's position on rape and it actually sort of explores the gray areas it actually explores the um you know the 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 complexities of the law the murkiness of the law um how it's abused frequently you played the defense counsel who's not an especially likable person he is um you know he's constantly bullying the the victim he uh, you know he digs up uncomfortable details of the, the relationship between the between the victim and the victim no the, the rape is about how the character he's like it's the law that's correct like, it's not my opinion when, it's the law in today's times when um you know the climate is about yeah. believe uh, the women when when me too is a reality did you ever have any reservations about how this this lawyer would come off looking that he looked like he's on the wrong play. side of the argument no i just like the way it was written i really like the writing it was really good very tight and very authentic it gave me a great opportunity as an actor so yeah so you know the, the interview forward. i like is it is there anything in your performances that you would change i would rather look back at it do you feel like i could have done this differently or i would do this differently given the chance i think you you feel excited at times like, you don't have to deal with and that dilemma and then you realize that you have a great take and mm. you watch yourself on the world of it nahi yaar it better ho sakta hai so and sometimes you're not excited it depends on what the cam- what, what the camera what is showing you your yeah. comes through it's so magical but at times you're so confident you don't want to look yourself 
passive uh, as a player in the film mm. I, i want more participation mm. and i look at it i can't stand it depends on the yeah. character also yeah it does yeah. you just yeah you don't have the crutch of that you know the active part in Correct. the film like i thought i was like a passive in bareilly but right. active in bala and dream girl mm. and passive in first half of article putting active in the second half right. so it really depends how it's written right. and directed beyond the realm of the guy what, what is what is yeah. it right, right. you you right yeah actually really would you uh, do you do that do you look at your performance and think of how you'd fix it if you could do it again not in the last few years but maybe my earlier work which right. i done yeah maybe if i see it now i probably hate it okay so hamraz that you really have hamraz i love him in hamraz what are you doing kya baat kar rahe ho sir aap bol rahe ho so that song kis saam likhe halchal sun rahe I don't know, Mama. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Raj, who's right? You know, Kisan is getting a chance. No, that's a pre-dashan. Pre-dashan. Mm-hmm. 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 in whatever he had mm. made it so impactful yeah. one of the most if not the most memorable character um, my favorite character even at a script level i told zo yes, once exactly. um, i told zo once i was like man if you had offered me something like if you do yeah, yeah, a free yeah. hand of choice i would probably pick me i love the guy yeah. 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 that's more of a reindeer role zo's place and every time i was reading this guy was jumping out of his sofa because he's like i don't know and he gave me two incredible <laughs> inputs uh he told me first thing is he said bhai city of god yes lil zee lil zee lil zee and i just did that to him like that is like yeah Did you ever wear red hair shirt again. rick because wo bola ki udhar ka raja hai no i mean he's the, he's the king of all although ye to is is a small time the but the idea of never wear being, shirt rick being owning that space came from uh, from nandi <coughs> and in fact he gave i can't i don't know if i'm allowed to say it but i will say so he said you need to feel you need to be the king but still feel out of it right nobody gives you the bhav that you think right. you should get and he said bhai ye kahi par bhi ho sakta hai kisi ke sath bhi ho sakta hai any demographic any economic background it happens to me mm. and he said that i looked at those eyes i saw the moon right there i really can't explain when i heard the narration my biggest connect was with moin actually and it shows in the but world. what is the biggest input that i gave you which i please tell everybody <laughs> i want the credit for this yaar so matlab so yeah again during the reading uh, so there's a scene in the benetton shop yeah. where we go uh, wow, wow, wow. yeah so in the script it was written i just say ab sab log aaj baaj wad jao moin bhai karenge rap 10 lakh rupaye ka 10 lakh yeah. rupaye bhi 10 lakh ke upar bhi mai bhi kar sakta hu sabhi like that and it ends there So, so I move on to the next scene, and he's like, hey, "Wait a second. I think Moin should just let go." An improper round. Moin, go either. Chup jaanchi. I looked at him. I didn't understand what he's saying. He's like, "You should just break into an improper tool." Yeah. Tool kya kar de ki the wale wow wow wale. Aise kuch karte na aise kuch. That sir, I was so proud of myself. I'm like. Oh. <laughs> उट 
you know, yeah, who has yeah, course, mostly played, played supporting right. roles which eventually were central to the film. Right. So I just understood at a very early age that, like he said, he felt most drawn towards Moeen. Mm. The uh, most supporting roles are actually quite actually is when you're given the central better. character. Yeah. Because a lot of the times the central character is just the lens through and which Gary you can find depth in a supporting yeah. role. And a lot of the very, very, uh, you know, the uh, doing the exciting, uh, you know, the, the, the seeds which, the have the, which have the masala are around, you yeah. know, I mean, we are very fortunate that we are mainstream actors where we get to play those parts which essentially have a little bit of all of that in them. Mm -hmm. But if you look at cinema at large, yeah. I mean, it's not the central characters who are always the most exciting. Exactly, it's, exactly. it's the supporting, it's usually the supporting. Even the the performances and roles which might have been shorter than some other people in the same film. Yeah. But I agree, I agree partly with what you're saying because there was this, there is this tendency of putting supporting cast in a certain bracket. Yeah. Uh, like a token, I mean, this is token, a guy token, who, token. This is a guy who's a carjacker, mm -hmm. he, uh, he has, kids running drugs for him yeah. but we see a side to him that is this great friend we see a side who uh, you know this childish side to him yes. in, in, in that show so a lot with uh, his I performance. Mean, that level of layering no. is it, it's in, rare in, to in find. mainstream I agree with you it's rare to find also because there is this strong tendency to put supporting cast in a certain bracket there's like a token friend role mm. that is written for a lot of actors and they reach to they come to you and they say is role ke liye ek actor chahiye. and uh, so like who have you got for the central part then <laughs> boy is used to the best film ever had. It's, you are the best so, film ever so had. i've heard of that and i've discarded it for so many years i've been hanging around for 10 years now mm. uh, i did pink in 16 gully boy in 19 so i've been Trying to get role uh, like he was the guy that was one of the people that tried to he was in pink, that's right. He, he was one of the guys in the car put it together. together. Really? Yeah. He auditioned for Sushant. So Sushant got it. I auditioned for Rajkumar's part. Okay. Yeah. And Mukesh Chabra's uh, <laughs> earlier office. Yeah. So we were reading lines. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Amit Saad was, was, was there. He was there. He was there. Okay. So Priya was testing. Amit Kumar. Amit Kumar. Yeah, Amit Kumar. This was before Vicky Dover. Yeah. Kai Nikal Gya Pochi Rehye. <laughs> Has there been a role that you said no to initially, um, that you didn't want to do for whatever reason, but you changed your mind? Perhaps because you were convinced by the director's vision, perhaps the filmmaker or the writer convinced you to look at it in a different perspective and it made sense to you. Was that a role that you didn't necessarily think was right, but you had a different opinion uh -huh. on? Yeah. Article 15. Though I extracted the script out of Anubhav sir, mm. but when I read the first draft, mm. I was like, sir, you don't need to read it. It's just so vanilla. There's nothing mm. exciting in it. Mm. And uh, in my head, I said no. He's like, give me two months. He came back after two months and I was shocked. Mm. What have you done in these two months? Right. So that happened with me. Also, it's treated so well. It's one yeah. of the most cinematic. It is. It's audio it's so the craft is so it's atmospheric. So atmospheric. And the mochi, yeah. man. Mooch nahi to smooch nahi. No smooches? Do back to a film of mooch. We have done all versions of the mustache possible for any actor. But you know, you have a very nice uh, mustache and your hair is very soft. You can shape it in many different ways. Yeah. Gold. I have like thickish growth. It's difficult thick to mold it. You have to cut your hair also. <laughs> so, you have to cut your hair. I'm the only one clean shaven. Yeah. Huh? The only one clean shaven, yes. I'm the only one clean shaven, yes. मुझे बड़ा नंगा लगता है अभी बिना मूछ के पता है मुझे भी बहुत नंगा लगता है बालों में तो मैं पहली बार नंगा हुआ मतलब नो नो समथिंग दैट बैलेंस द सिंगिंग ओह व्हाट व्हाट इज व्हाट इज हियर क्या क्लीन है शुड बी एंड व्हाई नंगा चेहरा व्हाई आर यू वर ड्रेस्ड लाइक दैट व्हाई माय ड्रेस लाइक दिस आई यू स्टिल आस्किंग रणवीर व्हाई ही ड्रेसेस लाइक दैट गुड पॉइंट स्टोनेज थी ये क्लीवेज है मुझे एक्चुअली ये सवाल पता हेयर और सबके साथ जो मुखर्जी को पूछो मैंने क्यों पहने कपड़े has there been a role that you said no to initially? Yeah, Khilji actually. Really? Yeah. yeah. What? Um, I found the character so loathsome. Like so despicable. So despicable. And so dark, so messed up. That I was, it was actually out of just uh, sheer fright, fear. You know, that. And I told Sanjay sir, sir, this might take me into sort of like a hole that I may uh, not come back yeah. from or come out that of. That happened to him. You know? I think he had a therapy afterwards. Me. 
on this guy and really? i don't know yeah. if i'm at that stage in my life i was very happy bp and i were going to get married you know it was all like it was all it was all like roses you know that's what you need um you think you just think you can do that with me don't think that you will get unka project kata hua tha which is oh 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 so so initially i was a bit afraid but mr bansali convinced me uh, very quickly uh, i remember that one moment on his balcony uh, eating machhi curry and um, we were just going back and forth i was apprehensive um and he got frustrated he could not have said another word to convince me and he just got frustrated he put his chawal back in his plate like this my boy don't you want to play a character who's got 75 kilo balls <laughs> so i was like you know what i mean i'm all that was the yeah that's it the 75 kilo balls yeah. <laughs> so it was it was i mean um exactly. it took some doing but uh, most most uh, most times i'm an interval uh, green lighter I'm like yeah by by uh, the yeah. interval really? interval i know by the interval I know. yeah but you know why they're interested in the movie yeah, yeah of course so of course. then you get yeah. into that's why it's an issue related to yeah, yeah. It's the dark the dark but just <laughs> in the dark i want to say yaar ye mere ko samajh mein nahi aaya but if by interval you have you have ever like done a movie that you're not in by the time you reach interval and then suddenly you decided to do it when you heard the second half like i never had a movie like that I've always like known in the first twenty minutes whether I'm interested. Not twenty, but interval. Like sure. by interval. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because popcorn खाने जब लोग जाते हैं खुश हो के जाने चाहिए हाँ मजा आ रहा है. It's like that. So I got that feeling. Yeah. I was kind of scared to look pink uh-huh. uh, because it was all of four five scenes and those four five scenes were loaded with a lot of. They were good scenes. And again, that's a supporting part that had nuance. You know that scene where the where the old man you drop him off the bike Most and you're part. actually threatening him, yeah. but. You sort of are loving and caring and putting him in that yeah. auto rickshaw. It was a great input by the director. He said you have to attack this guy, mm. the rickshaw driver, to threaten threat, uh, threaten the old man. Correct. You be very nice to him and attack this yeah. this person in front of him. He'll know who we are. Who you are. Basically, that was the power dynamic. The tough part is we don't have the arsenal as right. as an as a character. Right. How do you bring those nuances? That's the toughest part. Yeah. Like there's nothing in the script. Still, you have to. Me, you have to. You know, you have to make. You know what Chinese Theron said? She read this. Uh, it's, she actually was quoting That's someone. She said, "When the writing is bad, actors act." <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's interesting. Yeah. That's true though. Charlie's guessing like you mean because they don't have to act when it's the writing is good. They can just be. They have to act. They have to get really. something out of it. Right. Yeah. Like the fly episode of Breaking Bad, you see them doing everything they can to make it work. But actually, never. You've never been in that position where you've where you changed your mind about. I don't. I can't remember. No. I don't. But it's really interesting to hear what you're talking about because it resonates with me. What? Sir? What are you talking about? The interval, and you know, you get a sense of you want to do How this. How long into a narration or into a script do you kind of? It will vary from script to script, but I think what they're saying is absolutely right. Like it's. It you know, resonates with me. This guy yeah. seems like you know, a very sure to me. Who's like a fat fan? But I want to make a point like about what he's discussing. He, yeah. he just likes listening. He likes really observing. Common. Amongst us all, yeah. which is interesting, that once you've done it, I guess when you're next to Ray Beer, you're not hung up on revisiting it, going over what you could have done differently. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Right. But to chop it, Ji. And since then, you've evolved as a person also. You don't want to go back. What you will cringe if you go back. Move on, no? Yeah. So and it's like. You, if you really live it, you know. Then you're done. Really, then you're done. You're done. Then you're done. You don't want to go back. You right. want to. You want to move on. It is a. a so what I was going to say goes on. I was reading the papers today, and there was a great quote from somebody I don't remember. He said, "If I have to sum up everything I know, I've learned about life in three words. It's this. It goes on." Yeah. Right. <laughs> What's the fact? Yeah. What's the fact? Yeah. yeah. It's a fact. You know, it's like that honeymoon period you're enjoying when this film releases and makes all the noise. Mm. It goes in two months. Next film comes up. But I mean, but. usually you feel a bit empty. Like I usually feel a bit empty after the release because like you yeah, work so, so hard I and know. then you get into that moment where it crescendos and whether it did well or even when it does exceedingly well. I remember after a month of Kabir Singh going through like this really empty mm-hmm. feeling, like. Like you know, like everything was over, yeah, and I didn't know that. Like, right. I mean, you know, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. I got attacked. I'm not even going to get attacked in Ashton's film. I mean, he's also been shooting back to back to back. What is the time? Yeah. Yeah. Feel yeah. empty, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> How do you manage? Down on those busy days, he's going through a low moment, but nobody <laughs> knows about it because <laughs> he's so busy doing shit. Mister Arman, 
right now I am having a break for three months. Nice. Seen when I am just doing nothing. Have you taken a three months break? Like that. Jamie Kumar Bhai, I'm doing nothing. I have a new song for you. What are you saying? R O I, Roy, Roy, Bum 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 Roy. Oh Roy, what are you saying? Bro, so Jovi, I am going to go. Three months available. Nee, it's all about it. Come on, come on. But uh, that's very admirable. Nee, but it's too available in three months. Puts out. इसको एक फ्लैट वनिला स्क्रिप्ट आएगी और उसमें ही अपने नुआंस ढूंढ लेगा और ये तीन महीने डेढ़ महीने हो जाएंगे बाला में ऐसा हुआ था वो वो मेरा कैरेक्टर कुछ फ्लैट ही था मैंने बोला इसमें मिमिक्री डालो मैं कॉलेज में मिमिक्री मिमिक्री करता था तो आई वाज लाइक लुकिंग द राइट आर्टिस्ट जो रणवीर कपूर निकाला है अपने हाथ में लाओ यार आई वाज लाइक लुकिंग द राइट आर्टिस्ट जो रणवीर कपूर निकाला है अपने हाथ में लाओ यार बट द वन मूवी देयर इज वन मूवी सर इन माय फिल्मोग्राफी दैट आई कैन वॉच एनीवेयर Any time, how many other times I want to see it now? I want to see it. Huh? Halja? Which one is it? Sigra. Oh my God! You are yeah. No, yes again. Is good. he wrong? Good, good. Bang, bang. No, yeah. It's a good watch. Any time watch. But come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> no, sir. Nice in a way. Nice. You can watch it again. Bajja. There is only one song. Ah. Huh? Come, guys. Delhi Bombay. Shahid. सूर्यवंशी Those juices and, and your <laughs> sir on the first day about halfway through the day few shots into what we were doing uh, uh, Rohit sir and I had a moment uh, in between shots he had his hand in his pocket and he was like ये सिंबल तेरे अंदर चले गए हैं अंदर चले what he means is like now you it's really you made it your own and now you have sex with him free sir yeah and but he I can he can totally get that because Ranveer has that side in him. I I just totally has a side. I just मुझे भी करनी है सिर्फ मुझे बॉडी बनानी है वो मुझे कभी भी दिखा दो मैं देख के मैं तो सर रिलीज होने के बाद आई यूज टू गो फॉर द इंटायर थियेट्रिकल रन फिनिश वर्क एट टेन इलेवन द नाइट And I used to go and watch the late show with the audience. The the you sheer every, every night, every night, night. every night. It was no longer a surprise for yeah. the every audience. Night. And I'm just waiting. Hey, Ranveer, yeah. I'm the kind of monster that you have shown now. Thought like, hey, you move here. Lutera, Simba, Gully Boy, like a buffet of. Yeah. Yes. But it's tough to pull off Simba, you know. It's it's yes, not so easy to pull off. Yes, Simba. that's it's actually tough to pull off. Done that show now and quite uh, uh, entertaining. I, I prefer you in that show, <laughs> honestly. I I don't know if I like. Any part? Any like you? The sofa scene, by that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Kumar, Arya Kumar. He's just sitting up there watching. Then you know the dialogue. Be aware. Pyaar, pyaar, pyaar. Under. यार वो एक 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 कौन सा गाना है आप लोग यानी व्हाट यू पाइंट इट बट द सॉन्ग भाई कौन सा गाना है जब यू जस्ट डिड दिस वो दैट्स मोस्ट ऑफ प्रभु देवा सॉन्ग यू जस्ट शी वाज वाकिंग ओवर द बैक मोस्ट ऑफ प्रभु देवा सॉन्ग मारी 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 कहां पे बात हुई मैं ओह Be like a doggy, Shahid. Be doggy, sir. Doggy, and then another doggy song. I put a doggy dog. I don't know what what it is about. Sir, why need to ask Akshay, sir? Tal film me, jo apne glasses pehne the na, that was beautiful. Wo us us time pe kya chal raha tha apke jumaat pe? Oh yeah, sir. You don't remember? Sir, you know my memory with Tal. Oh, yeah, sir. Beautiful yeah. film. I remember seeing that promo where he falls in the water. You know, and I was a wannabe actor at that time. And you know, he falls in the water in slow motion, and then you see him go inside, and he's still in the shot. And I used to always try and go in the pool and see if I can keep my, I mean, the water I can hold for a second or not. Because I am a little claustrophobic uh, about water. So yeah, that was one yeah. of the things I felt that I must be able to do this if I want to be an actor. <laughs> It's good. It's good. That's hilarious. Actually, actually, you're um, you're sort of the you're sort of the most experienced in this group. You know, you've been making movies for um, for for longer than than the others have. In fact, you uh, you started just when sort of Hindi cinema was going through that really exciting change when the, there was that whole tectonic change taking place, 
and dil chahta hai your film was oh. in fact the marker oh. for oh, yeah. how uh, you know for the, the point that we yeah. so yeah we well, yeah, 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 not just that like, but actually the original gangster show that like, 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 which we could smoke perform i love right i was smoking in him I must say, like every single so thing that I saw him, yeah. he gave you so much and it was an invisible confidence that as an actor, yeah, 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 yeah. you know. Aisi hai ye, rooti. Great songs. Don't sing it, Ramu. That's too serious. It's gonna get blocked. You know, he's acting like he has forgotten this song. You should go. You forgot it. Actually, I love my. It's one of my favorite songs. Beautiful song. Geet barish titliya. I don't know if I just broke in the song. I love you. Ranger has no really no deep. Deep. personal and skills. I, None. It's I, touch, I, feel, yeah. everybody, Would everything. I love it. Like it's that. Put this on the table. It changed the landscape of uh, Hindi film. Yeah, the very nice. The syntax. Yeah, the syntax. Did you know though at the time this was something different that you were doing something different? Yeah, you get the sense of that. Yeah, definitely. The writing was so good and so fresh, and Farhan was just amazing. I think the credit of the Jada was doing totally. I don't know why he's not made another one. Yeah, yeah. Or even just revisit those characters and see where they may be today, what they're up to. But what is so what interesting really to me is, is as, as an actor, he's an actor. Into a film that's that's where he kills his job at. You could right. say I mean, exactly. that's never ever been made. That's there. They go. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, in that. Very humble. That's a different role. Weren't you meant to play the other role? No, no. I wanted to play. Who is the actor? Amar. Ah, Amarsh. I can't think of anyone else. And playing. Farhan said, "No, sit. Oh. I've written this for you." So I was like, "Okay." What? How? Are you grouped? Because we were three friends. Yeah. 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 अरे कुछ होता है तो खेलते थे पर उसमें करते क्या थे मतलब टाइम पास बकवास कॉन्वर्सेशन कभी गाना बजा दिया वो अपना बिलाल है ना बिलाल बिलाल खड़े रहता था फिर साजन जी घर आए प्ले करते थे हम लोग वो ऐसे आपको बिलाल को नहीं बिलाल को नहीं बिलाल बाथरूम And folds it quite perfectly and leaves it right there. Yeah. So that was an improvised moment. That wasn't actually in the script. There was no water in the taps apparently, and and that and you improvise that moment where you fold it perfectly. Yeah, it's a very little moment. Okay, it's a very little moment, but it reveals so much. And then of course you immediately follow it up with that scene where you measure the the the, the bathroom uh, with your feet. You know, um, you've spoken about the prep that went into learning the rap, the lingo. Mm. The dial- um, yeah, the dialogue. But to play a guy who feels small, mm. because that's that's his, that's what he's feeling in that moment, right? That he's he he doesn't belong here. That this is beyond. What was that like? And what was that like getting into the head? Should I just ask you as an aside? Uh, have you actually done that? And I have. Yeah. You would feel that, right? So. Um, Yeah. My upbringing has been such sir, that I used to stay in Bandra West, but on the border. Okay, so like right on the border. So if you move east, uh, there's very different social strata. Mm. And if you go west, where I used to go to school, you used to go to the club. Uh, you know, it's a very different social strata. So I had that good fortune of being right in the middle, where so you see the right, best yeah. of both worlds. Mm. It's also complicated to be there, right? So, so when you move west. There are several instances where you find yourself in the position of a have not. Mm. You know, oh yeah, for sure. Right? You know that. You know that. Bandra ki baat mein maaram boy, magad mein raho, lokan aara mein raho, boy magad mein raho. That's what he meant when he said, "I get moving." But it's tougher. It's tougher being in Bandra in the middle of all that and somewhere in the middle, yeah, like not having a clear identity of being to the this side or to that side. In Andheri, you can stay in Andheri and say Bandra or anywhere. That's and why. That's why you got these. Oh, it's there. Yeah. You know, it's different. It's very lucky or fortunate that you got in touch with both the strata. But at that moment, that's the thing. 
today in retrospect it does it must have been complex to do this right? it is right. it is very complicated now we know where all the personalities come from <laughs> <laughs> socially the kids who i used to go to school with were way above right mm. so i have been in that position to be able to you know know that feeling yeah. aap bol rahe the no i was saying that's what i was saying that your 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 the, 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 the status so of people much. in school are very different from the status of people in the area that you live in or even even in the, even in school there are different levels of you know yeah. right. um it happens then every school of course and yeah. especially in the larger schools um that's the same thing actually same thing like right? in my family like you have people who stay in villages in punjab who go like very affluent in london <laughs> canada and that's why the very versatile upbringing has brought this experience which you put on celluloid yeah. i think it's it's it gives very fortunate like when you come to mumbai i do came from delhi to bombay in my fifth standard, standard. And so I dealt with like some massive racism in yeah. school. Like racism. my racism. accent was a problem, you know. Like because I was Delhi, I was Delhi. Game में मैं गुजरा दिल्ली में मेरे को बोल चाहिए ना. Like I used to talk like that, and they couldn't understand what was going on with me. I didn't know a word of Marathi, and so I had a I had a lot of issues. Like I didn't have a friend in school till I was in the eighth standard, mm-hmm. and then this boy called Heather, film that I watched oh, earlier, okay. came in the eighth standard like a savior, and like he was this big guy. What? Like he was like five eleven, you know, and like big us, and like he protected me from thirty kids because they used to traumatize me in the eighth stand, and I, me exactly. and him finally became friends. That's good. And Heather saved my life for three years, you know. So this bullying, bullying, all this, I get all that. I used to be bullied by thirty kids together, you know. They all try and call me now, you know. Mm. Then I'm an actor, and I'm like, yeah, really, I don't remember you. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate my kids in school. I love my college life. I have a rough time in school. I like you. 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 To each of you, what genre of film or what kind of film are you dying to do? But for some reason, they won't offer it to you. I think all of us sitting here must be dying to do a genre. The other one has done it at some point. Sure. And yeah. seen and gone like I want to do a gangster. I love that. Why didn't I get that? You know, yeah. like, I would love to do a film, film about yeah. about a, a, a gangster in Delhi. Belly. Coming up from Dara, we had such an amazing space. Yeah. yeah. You know. I think he wants to do a gangster. I mean, I would love to do a gangster. He wants to do a gangster. He wants to do what he's done in most of his films. You know. Erectile dysfunction. I mean, but like you are a gangster. Erectile dysfunction. I would be happy. I know I called you <laughs> so and I said okay. something to you, and you said you wouldn't do a film that I would have. <laughs> but would you? Why not? Why not? Maybe he is the one who had the the guts to be the first one. Right. Mm-hmm. But now that he's done it, right. it makes me feel like, yeah, man, why didn't I do it? Mm. So great. I mean, we have to learn from each other. Sure. Like that, right? Sure. It's true. It's true. Yeah. You know, Mickey Rooney was the first time he did it, and I love that film. Oh, it's so great. Great film. <laughs> you know the 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 tough part about these subjects is you need to be sure that the filmmaker is making it for the right reasons yeah. and his heart is in the right place. Yeah, right. You know, sometimes it's done with all the wrong reasons, mm. and somehow the films that he's done, he's been able to find the heart in those films. Right. When you come in to watch something that's a little titillating, and then you get into the fact that it's just about people and about a real issue, and eventually there's heart in that film. Right. You know, so I think he's done that, and that's great. I mean, great. So Gully Boy for that. you, a gangster yeah. film for you. Gangster film. I just want to action. Of action. I haven't done yeah. an action film. Great action <laughs> film for a long time. That's true, actually. Order, but I've not done it. I would yeah. love to do a good action film. Now. Yeah. Like I love the fact that when he's doing his performances, he's actually rapping that shit. Like yeah. he's oh. actually doing that shit. Because I hate the fact that somebody else is sung and I'm. I feel like a faker. You know, whenever I do live stage shows, and I, you know, we all enter like rock stars and eh, and the song stars and we lip sync it, but I'm faking it. It's not even my voice. So I like try and dance my ass off to yeah. prove that there is some oh, genuine merit for me being here and for you going like, come on. Ha, that was that was like a big performance. Yeah, yeah. I saw so so like it was in like America. But there was like thaw where they like they was watching music videos. They were like, oh my god, is that your voice? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I always wondered that. 
इंग्लिश फिल्म के स्लिक एक्शन हम लोग हमेशा सोचते हैं वो कभी भी शिवा 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 जेम्स बॉन्ड एस्क एक्शन पीसेस आर ग्रेट You know they design the action pieces. Sir, can I just focus on the? Yeah, they say here will be the action. Oh, you know, you 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 are envisioning and like wow, man, that's pretty spectacular. Why don't somebody do something like heat? It's a great shot. Shot. That seven minute scene. Producer. Yeah, that seven minute scene between De Niro and Pacino. I want to see shit like that. I saw Irishman last night. Django. Why don't people do those films? Why don't mm-hmm. mm-hmm. DiCaprio like the, the role that he picked? It's best Reservoir right? Dogs. It's an ensemble cast. Mm-hmm. Usual Suspects. It's an ensemble cast. That's the genre. Pulp Fiction. It's an ensemble cast. Fight Club. Nobody makes those films. Mm. Fight Club. So I would love to do that. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the frustrations about the industry. Yes. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> What's the last thing that you do before you step out of the van to give your shot? It's a very private question. I refuse to answer it. <laughs> Could be random things. I've I've said it before. So for you, could be random things. Anything. I pray. You pray. Have you spoken the truth? You can. But I actually pray before everything. Yeah. I, I take a leak. <laughs> That's actually what I do. Because I don't want yeah, it to come I in the way. Right now. If I'm in the moment and I don't want like halfway through when I'm getting to the point, I always keep before. You don't know when you're going back. Exactly. I pray moment. Sorry. And then the makeup people get mad at you. Um. My understanding depends. is that there must be some higher power, mm. you know. So just uh, a prayer of gratitude to that higher power before I go out and engage with people, uh, before I go out and do <laughs> this thing that has come to me like in Gaji Bhada line, the tofa, you know, it's a gift, you know, this blessing. I get to do what I really love to do. Before I step out from the van into the world to engage with that, every every time before I go out to perform, I say thank you, a prayer of gratitude. Thank you for these good people that I'm working with. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for 
putting me in this position thank you for helping me along the way and just thank you for this thing that i'm about to go and do Uh, my favorite things about Ranveer. And that's it. That's it. It's become a thing. You know, I also agree. I, and how about he's like very genuine and very thankful. I have been given. He's just an outspoken guy. That's why he's a superstar. He's amazing. That's why he's a superstar. So proud of you. Gratitude. I use. I just pray the perfume that I use for that film. Oh, that character. Yeah. 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 You change the perfume. You just spray the perfume on you. Of the character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the smell of the yes, perfume for each character. Perfect. That's interesting. But you wear that uh, actually might be interesting like, because you listen to me. You can smell it. Or so the shot you're getting into. Yeah, but I wouldn't do that without permission from the other actors. Oh yeah. Just before like I'm going to be allergic. Yeah. Or like you just smack them. Could they sooner get some cool thing? Like it or not, you don't get it. But it could actually help the other actors. Every time they come on, you're like, I would ask them. But community का मजा ही लगा यार. This is what you're listening to. This is what Ishan is. That's so much suitable. I prefer you didn't ask. <laughs> um, that yeah, could help. I if I randomly smelled something the, like, to music, musicality, no, spouse, like, wearing a perfume that I hate, um, that wouldn't help. I read it somewhere, but, and I thought it was no. a beautiful way to put it. Mm, I read music is what feelings sound like. Mm. You know, so I feel like every kind of music has embedded in it some kind of feeling. Yeah. You know, that you can always draw from. Right. You know. That's true. Um, So I feel music is very helpful. Like uh, I very much so the music transcends off. emotion. It's a mood. Kind of stuff, so. It's a vibe. Every film is a different playlist for me. Now in my new movie, yeah, every film is different. Yeah, every scene, every beat of every scene. That's that's very intense. But <laughs> but but like now, you know, it's that kind of playlist. Nee, where's the film going? Rock or what? तो बच्चों का पापा है सोया तो सो सो यार लाइक नाउ ऑन दिस फिल्म आई रिक्वेस्ट माय न्यू डायरेक्टर आई वाज लाइक दिस इज अ साइलेंट शॉट यू नो देयर नो देयर इज नो डायलॉग सिंग साउंड फिल्म बट देयर इज नो डायलॉग कैन आई प्ले दिस म्यूजिक एंड परफॉर्म विद दिस इन द बैक ही इज ऑल फॉर इट एंड इट्स वर्किंग ब्यूटीफुली इट वर्क्स ब्यूटीफुली फॉर मी आई एम दोस आर सम ऑफ माय फेवरेट इंस्टेंसेस वेयर आई एम अलाउड टू परफॉर्म ऑन म्यूजिक लाइक Like it's a big. That's interesting. Uh, it's a thing Peter Weir used to do a lot, you know, especially on the Truman Show. Um, Mr. Bansari likes to do it sometimes, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, depends scene to scene, um, but uh, but I yeah, I am in really connected with you. I can, I, I if you if you get the right song for the scene, uh, boom, works done. I should give a process? No, not really. No, I don't have a process. I don't know. If I do, I don't know how to talk about. Right, you said that. Uh, yeah. Wow, great statement. Do you want to talk about this guy? Huh? If I do, do, I don't know how to talk, talk about it. I can't talk about it. He's a fan. I can't. I can't. And he knows how to do what he does. He's trained, but he does not express. He just does it. Half my intellectualization. Why it's so interesting to see the age gap and also the experience gap between these. In its own way, these are all the same age. Yeah. But it's it's great to hear these guys, especially what Ranveer said about being. You know, saying thank you every yeah. time before he leaves the van. Yeah, it's an incredible thing. But you got up. You got up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So keep saying thank. I mean, how many people wish to be where you are? Yeah, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I was yeah. yeah. auditioning. I would done over like two hundred auditions. And uh, I know what it's like. I'm sure you've done. Yeah. Yours have you done any auditions? Of course, plenty. plenty. Auditions, none. Auditions. Yes. No. So you say when you've done those, and when you've stood never among the so many, and when you've seen that all the people family. are vying for the same opportunity that you have, and then when you're fortunate enough to, you know, have done enough work and to be sitting here with such wonderful auditions, life. suck. Thanks is you know, it's the it's least you can do. Really, to have an acting career and having and never auditions. And you need audition. to do your best with every opportunity that you have, because otherwise. You don't deserve to be where you are. So I totally agree with him and him and yeah. You know, to all of you, Amitabh Bachchan just completed 50 years of acting. 50 years, and he's tireless. He continues to make two, three films a year. He's got a very busy television show. He does ads. He's constantly on his toes. He's on TV show. Do you sometimes think about how long you'd like to be doing this job? How long you'd like to be working? You all work very hard. It is a very consuming so you die. job. Um, would say, you like to be doing this? As long as I'm breathing, you forever, can't do it anymore. Do you have other interests and other passions that you hope to make time for, which perhaps doesn't you, you're, you're not able to do now because the acting gig is going so well? You're talking about Amitabh Bachchan, sir. Yeah. I'm working with him, Gulabo Sitabo. 
and uh, he just Ooh. helps you with everything. Like I normally mark my lines with a fluorescent marker, mm. and uh, I don't mark my co-actors' lines. He was like, oh, "How selfish are you?" <laughs> so, so he he told me not to also mark your co-actors' lines, okay. and he was like, "Dipika bhi aise karte." So he was like, "Mujhe nahi pata, but I do that." But I think it comes from within, like his energy levels, this this the need actors, to live life. is unbelievable in this age Big and really. apart from that talking about myself i remember when hawaii zara bombed next day i started making calls to all the musicians uh, in the city and formed my band and started gigging i started performing on weddings college concerts for so i thought i don't know where i'm going now because the hawaii zara but trade was like kab pack up ho gaya so thankfully after a month the mega cash released yeah. but next day i formed my band Like, अब मैं गिग करूंगा मैं गाऊंगा बैंक के साथ ट्रैवल करूंगा आई रेट ओवर डैम फास्ट यार यू आर फेल डाउन फॉर अ मंथ या लकी दैट वाज फॉर्चूनेट दैट हो गया दैट वाज बीन फॉर आई ऑलरेडी यार बट वो हु वाज आई आई थिंक सो आई एम आई एम फॉर्चूनेट दैट आई हैव लाइक अ पैरेलल वेक्टर ऑफ सिंगिंग एंड गिगिंग एंड इट रियली हेल्प्स सो मच इज अ प्लान बी एज एज थिंग्स दैट यू जस्ट Want to turn to which you started with plan B, C, and B like radio, television. <laughs> Then it was like a tour towards my final destination. Jo mil jaye, chalu kar do. Ha, exactly. Yeah. Man, of course. Yeah, do it. That's it. Yeah. I honestly could not find any other. Yeah, any other interest or passion that I thought I could continue doing as mm. a as a profession or means to earn money. This is the only one I I, <laughs> I like and I'm uh, kind of capable of. But uh, well, I don't know. Capable, really, I feel like this is uh, it. Uh, yeah, after a certain age, I might want to just like go away in the mountains and chill for a bit. Right. But uh, but I like what Relatable. I'm doing as of now, and I don't plan to quit. Sure. And I I I, I mean, Mr. Bachchan is one of the inspirations. Of uh, I work with him on pink, and I know how to behave on set, mm. off set, how to be a professional actor, how to be a great actor. Must all be of like that. To work with. Uh, I was taking master class in jobs. Like I was taking several mental loads. Yeah, like day, it's like Michael sitting Kane in a master class with the best. Yeah, the chain of the chain of the most yeah. amount of dialogues in pink. Right, if you remember. Yeah, and he never gave a second take because well, of that. Yeah. Never. Yeah. We shot the second half of pink, which is the longer half of the film, in nine days. Wow, wow. there were seven cameras shooting us from every angle. Nice. Days. And every take was as long as the chip last. So nice. Memory card, how big is it? उंट <laughs> the uh, mix even one ipc with something doesn't want to miss anybody's name he doesn't want to lose the court procedure mm. uh, decorum he wants to look at the, he doesn't want to show the back to the just he wants to maintain everything it's incredible it shows and how much that man prepared to spark to mm-hmm. be even like a fraction of what he is okay mm. Well, my 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 question to myself is usually the other way round. It's usually like, how long would people still want to see me? Right. I think that's the larger question that always bothers me because mm-hmm. the ball is actually in that court. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. I mean, the more you work, the more you understand because you go yeah, through ups and downs. Yeah, but you can act and have no one watch you. You know. That's um, true. Been my career. Oh God, both two. Highs and a couple of really big highs, yeah. but. Uh, The larger question always is how long will people offer me work, and more importantly, how long will people offer me work that that actually excites me, right? And which actually gets me going deep within, which mm-hmm. stirs my soul, because that's essentially what keeps me going, and that's why I do this job as opposed to another less demanding, much more secure, more family friendly, <laughs> you know, normal kind of job. I do it because something in my soul just burns. Mm-hmm. uh you know it keeps that fire going sure. and not every opportunity is going to provide you that yeah. platform so till they want to see me i'm lucky to be here honestly yeah uh i don't know sir i'm really 
relishing every opportunity at the moment i'm really <clears throat> loving the work like i'm in the thick of that i'm just in deeply in love with the work and the more i do the more i i love it even more you know um i'm loving it i'm like and what's important for me is that i keep um, getting to do different things yeah you know uh every time there is uh, one installment in the body of work the next one ought to be really really different mm. in order to keep me engaged that level of investment um you know uh, to bring it out of myself yes. you know it's just it's got to be that's <laughs> Uh, otherwise, I like writing. I uh, I hope to be a director someday. Mm. Um, I want to be a DJ. I want to have kids. I want to spend quality time with them. Uh, I want to spend you know uh, lots of time on a beach somewhere. Um, uh, but I, I I could not I could not say that far into the future. Um, that said, I mean, Mr. Bachchan is an icon. Fifty <laughs> years, yeah. and he's just. he i just saw him in badla he's just he's an icon you know uh, there's no other way to put it uh, he's possibly the most revered mm. star actor uh, in in our cinema of all time you know so 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 i was i was in yashash when i met mr anil kapoor mm. you know and we were discussing when he started in 77 when i was like 50 years Yeah. I mean, look at him. Look at the level of enthusiasm he has, even till date. I'm telling you, man. I interact with all kinds of actors. Like you, you come across a guy like Anil Kapoor, mm. who has, who feels like his energy is like as if he's he's approached, he's into his first film. Yeah. Like this is the first time he's doing. And the last time he's doing. It's genuine. Yeah. yeah. It's genuine. It's not. It's not like he's showing right. it so yeah. that people yeah. feel yeah. like that. It actually comes from within. Yeah. But I think that's what happens. I think the more you do this, the more it burns that fire, and you actually get better. Mm-hmm. I think the, the guys are legit. All the legit guys, they just go from strength to strength. The guy in the strength. end is Micah. Because the more you do it, the more it's it it's takes over your life. Pretty good. I mean, I've been doing this for the last. Well, I, I started in 2003, so yeah, 16 years and. 75 to 80 percent of those 16 years has been on set. You know, I mean that's the truth. I've given more time to this job than I've given to any relationship in my life that exists today, including my parents, including my children, my wife. So you know, you don't want that that to ever go. Sure. So you work, you do what it takes to hold on to it. You know, and you must. Maybe I should get fake glasses. Actually, it's easy to say as long as my body supports me, I'd like to work. But what Shahid said is more important. I mean, right. The audience has to keep wanting to watch you. Right. That has to last more important than the body. Right. So whichever lasts longer. You know, in your case, actually, it's also interesting because I, I wonder. You know, you you work sporadically. You don't necessarily work round the clock. Is that also what keeps the interest alive? The fact that that's not your. It's not all that you. It's not the only thing that you. No, no. I actually prefer to work. Like how Aishwarya is working right now. Right, as busy as that. Right? A lot of stuff. Right. Okay, I, I, my preference is that that. So sure. much more than working sporadically. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it actually makes you. I get very nervous when I get on a set after some time. Mm-hmm. Like even if it's for an interview, if I step out, yeah, if I haven't done anything for like three, four weeks or something, and then I get back. Yeah. You, you know, even when I sit on that chair to get my hair done and this that, and you, sh- I just start feeling nervous. I feel like I've lost touch, and the more you, actually that probably yeah. why he's getting it right so much. Because he's been here yeah. seventeen years down. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Hey, Bhagwan, today is a good day. No, no. You all get nervous. Yeah. Yeah. First, yeah. first day yeah. is like I get nervous. Every time on the first day, I like, everybody gets nervous. I think I've seen something. We all get nervous. Every day, every day. First day is always little. But yeah, that's really important. That's a good thing. There's no time to be nervous. You know. You just begun. That's why guests. Guests are so difficult. Uh, Jordan. Everybody else already had their first day uh, already in the group. But you have to be. You're the outside. You have to be in it at that moment. That's why it's invariably a few days. Some quicker than others. Uh, some days we are like like okay, <laughs> Simba. <laughs> <laughs> uh, him, he uh, loves that movie. We need to watch uh, it. I guess uh, it's day one, Hyderabad, um, and uh, give the first shot. They call cut, and I was like, I, I don't. Know, they call cut. I just given the first shot. Call cut, and I was like, I'm home. <laughs> 
so it's like uh, some days some it's different for different parts yeah, yeah. um three four days sometimes six seven days but uh, typically within the first schedule you should find something that's yeah at that films where i've been looking even on the last day of shoot like ye edit mein dekhte hain mera dekha but when you go off now to start jersey your yeah. uh, your your next film yeah. is there a nervous energy i'm shitting my pants you know and uh, lot of some very very uh, relevant people in my life told me the toughest time for an actor actually is right after he gives his most successful film mm. you know and especially if he doesn't have another film that's already rolling mm. and so everything just becomes too you start thinking too much about everything right you know and i have unfortunately not not wanting to be in that situation fallen into that situation where i actually didn't know what i wanted to do after the release it's also a great place to be yeah i stam You know, you want to keep it simple. Rose are more, of course. It gets you through that phase because you don't want to get into this trap of overthinking. I guess to be true yeah. to your gut. Don't. But think you've about... taken three months off now. Yeah. After after know. this, would you even know what I'm talking about? Is this? You really don't know what you're doing. That's this. interesting. I'm just reading scripts. I'm not buying it because the something in the expression. Agne saal ke do film mein ready hai. Agne saal ke do film mein ready hai. Gulabu Sabu Shomgan Zara Sabu. So I. Wo khatam ho gayi. Yeah, yeah. Up to the first 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 half of the year is. So how long did you go without stopping working? Like how long did you go non-stop? I think last year was the busiest with like five films, four films back to back. But I want to ask you, you know, yeah, you worked hard. that hard last year, yeah. and therefore you deserve this break. Mm. You need this break. It's fair to you. It's fair to the family. Mm. But does it make you nervous, no. insecure? I need to recharge my batteries, mm. write my songs, yeah, jam with my band, easy, yeah. write more poetry, shairi. And then go back with like yeah you get depleted yeah, absolutely course, great call I just want to get great call you know? discover myself again great call and what do I do next has to be different from what I have done till now could be action could be thriller could be something crazy yeah but yeah you've um, the Moin in uh, in Gali Boy of course has yielded some incredible opportunities your um, your shooting with Meera Nair for uh, suitable boy uh, you completed ghost stories um, yes. zoya you work with you work with oh, zoya ghost again, stories uh, on that and you're and you're going back to shoot the schedule of bagi 3 yes bagi 3 bagi 3 oh Bagi-tree. my god uh, <laughs> you know, not, but uh, but i am trying to so bagi 3 it's another kind of a challenge for me <laughs> because uh, the character that has been offered to me is supposed to make people laugh Yeah. And uh, mm. it's uh, I'm trying to do what Ranveer says. How has he not been in a gangster film? Acting. No, look at him. Mm. So different, eh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
all his performances is Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. I think it's one of the most invisible performance yep. performers mm -hmm. ever existed. R.I.P. Uh, to Philip Seymour Hoffman. I've seen I've seen films where he's not even facing the camera, but but you know what's going on inside. That's one of the most. Uh, uh, he's been exceptional in in minor roles, in bigger roles, and and one he's iconic. The, he's the consonant. Who's any performance supporting character actor? One hundred percent. It was so sad when he passed off. Walking Phoenix in Master. Get that in Master. Yeah, I that film bro. In it just also Paul Thomas Anderson. Paul Thomas Anderson. Now Walking didn't get the Oscar, but who did? Danny Davis. But I was looking for Walking that year. He really gave it up because it was Lincoln. I I didn't connect with True Lincoln that strongly as I connected with the Master. Jim Carrey in Eternal Sunshine. Are they? Thing is, really? He hmm. is opposite to his core comic slapstick zone. That shows the versatility of an actor. And I'm inspired. I'm inspired. Mm. Yeah. So totally against. Yeah. Totally yeah. different from all. And 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 Govinda in every David Devon film, he can act, Govinda. he can dance, he can <laughs> mimic, he can do emotional scenes, comedy, everything. Such a pleasure. Anybody's film. Anybody's film. Like Shorwar Yeah. Yeah. Swarg, Kamal Hassan sir, Kildik, in Chachi Chats for Beast 2, Sadma, True. unbelievable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, sir. Thousands of performances yeah, they had to, to just choose yeah, one and insult to the other. The best. Uh, very difficult. A few? The ones that... I'll tell you the one I, I felt really yeah. strongly about now, I was watching The Crown recently. Yeah. yeah. Olivia Colman. Olivia Colman. You, 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 you prefer Claire Foy? Foy is amazing. Yeah. I haven't watched Crown. Soul. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. It really does. She's absolutely yes. incredible. I ended up probably choosing one of my dads. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've just grown up watching mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. do stuff which was Mapool? Mapool. way ahead of its time. Mapool is what most people know about. No, I, 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 uh, Big Doctor came out. I don't know mm -hmm. how many yeah, people have seen that. Or, you know, Louis yeah. Kaboj was unbelievable. He actually did a serial for a teacher. Uh, no, he did another serial for Lucknow DD, uh, where he was playing a bonded laborer. And I remember I was a five year old kid, and every time he came into the frame, I used to just start crying. I used to record for teachers' episodes, and one of the episodes where Pankaj Kapoor sir is jamming with a tabla player. Mm -hmm. It is hilarious. Yeah. Like he's laughing and doing real. Uh, oh yeah, rao, right? it was called Hasrav. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you remember that one. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, he laughed in twenty different ways in the early nineties. He used to do that for me as a kid when I was at home. Huh? Whenever like I used to be like, Dad, uh, do something rao. funny. And he would start doing this Hasya Rag. You know, like how people laugh in yeah, different yeah, ways. Yeah. And he had some 30 versions of laughter. Those are all incredible performances. But this year, of course, we're celebrating your performances. Thank you. Uh, each of you was really extraordinary in, in your films. Thank you for this incredible and now sort of one piece insight of was into touched. how you pick the films that you think. And, and what just goes into Maybe they've been there for a couple of hours and they know it's all. Incredible performances. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Always enriching. <laughs> Thank you, Rohan. Thank you, Rohan. You did a fantastic job. Yeah, you of, really did. One, subbing the parts that needed to sub, but also filling us in on points we would have not yeah. known what they were. Like, even at points, he was like, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> that was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what Render's talking uh, about. Which is great. I, oh, man, I love, I love all of them for many different reasons, but Renvir, uh, like I was saying, like, he's... On the outside, if somebody just saw Renvir and the outfits he wears and the way he carries himself, they're like... He's so egotistical. Right. He's such a, such a, he's so full, full of himself. He's a star. But then when you actually talk to him, like he's, he's really actually very humble. That's mm -hmm. just who he is as a person. Yeah. He's a very confident, but he's also very thankful of the opportunities he's given. Like, and he's also, I get the sense he's a very giving person and artist. Yeah. And he just gives you everything he needs to give you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I, I don't know about you, but when I watch actor forums, especially when that long, I just, for at least 75% of that, I've got this ache 
inside oh, to one what talk or just to also act with them to be acting yeah this 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 just physical sensation of ah oh, oh, to be to be acting and hoping and they do come across this way uh, that they recognize the extraordinary gift they have been given mm -hmm. like I remember talking to somebody who you'll know who I'm referencing I know somebody who's on a, a show right now, and actually on two shows right now. So they're a, they're a series regular on two shows. And I remember this was a year or so ago. Hit shows. Uh, yeah, hit shows. And they've been a working actor for the better part of 25 years, nonstop, uh, and have been on other hit shows. And we were gonna go do something, and he got a call from production that said they needed to do some reshoots. And he was really pissed off that his dinner plans were changed. And I texted him back and said, please, do you realize you just had production on your hit TV show ask you to come do reshoots? Do you know how many actors wish they had this problem? Go do your reshoots and be thankful you're on a series that you get to go do yeah, reshoots on. You, you miss on. those when you're, when you're so successful, like these guys are the guy we're talking about. When you're so successful, it becomes a job sometimes. Yeah. Um, but like when I was on a show, um, Lethal Weapon, I, we did, there was two times they called back for reshoots, not because of something I did because I was perfect, um, but because of something. And I was so excited oh, yeah. that I got to go back on set yeah. and act more. It was so exciting. Yep. <laughs> and so it's just something you hope you never get to lose the fact that you, yeah. you're, I mean, because obviously I understand, you know, if these people are on sick, especially uh, Yushman Karana, who's acting for the better part of the entire year, yeah. it becomes, it becomes a job. And you know, obviously, you know, you enjoy it, but it becomes a job. And so these little nuanced things happen and you know that it's like, oh, that's annoying. They, uh, yeah, and I, and I get that. Yeah, you I, get it. The saying that familiarity breeds contempt, but I just... You just I, hope you never you never lose that like childlike. I get to act for a living. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think maybe it helps where if you've gone a long season, like it's all I knew as a kid mm -hmm. from the age of four until I was sixteen, and then theater from the age of sixteen until I was close to thirty. The the when you're on set day in day out, year after year. I never got tired of it. And then when that's gone, you get like, that's one of the reasons I like doing background work is because I just love being on set. Mm -hmm. I can just sit in a chair and watch everybody doing what they're doing and feel like I'm a fish in the ocean who's where they're supposed to be. Yeah. Cause I'm just getting to be a part of the creative process and be on set, see craft services set up over there, see the, the, the grips taking the stuff over there for that setup. And, uh, just there's, there is the, this, the specialness of it. And it was um, also nice to hear them talking about their craft, uh, like Shahid and Revere were obviously probably the most outspoken. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just funny cause they seem like really good friends. And it's funny because there's, a, I, 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 you see on the internet sometimes people saying like they like are like unhappy with each other sometimes. Like, yeah. and I'm like, it doesn't seem like that to no. me. I, so I don't know their whole thing, but it seemed like they were like really enjoying being around each other and talking about acting, which is one of the fun things. But also I really enjoyed the guy on the end who's in article 375 because I'm actually very similar in that aspect in terms of talking about acting. Mm -hmm. I don't really know how to tell you how I do what I do. Right. It's not something I'm good at articulating. Like you're a right. teacher, you, you know how to articulate what you're saying. It's not something I'm very good at in terms of telling you how I can do what I do. Correct, or, or even even wanting to. Like yeah. Daniel Day-Lewis is that way. It's why he doesn't do a lot of interviews. He, 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 he loves the art form, but he doesn't feel like he has anything to contribute that would help anyone do it. Yeah, I could, it's, it's just his process. I could never teach a class because I don't know. I'm just right. like, I can, I can, I could be, be a character. And I know how to do that. And it's just, just something that comes natural, but I can't express to you. It's like when I, I've always been able to do impressions, mm -hmm. but I can't tell you how I can do an impression. Right. It's the exact same thing. I right. don't, I've, cause you, I've been doing Jack Sparrow famously on the internet for a long time. Right. And people always say, do a tutorial. 
I was like, I couldn't tell you how I do that. Right. I couldn't teach you how to do yeah. that. I could teach you how to do this. Can you right. do that? No. That's it, man. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Right, exactly. Just, I, it's, it's like, like, teach me how to be a redhead. Yeah. <laughs> I really want, show me how to be a redhead, would yeah. you? And that's uh, it's what's so talented. Uh, Obviously, he was my theater teacher in high school, and so he knows how to articulate what you're supposed to do and how you. And obviously, that helped me inform me and all the kind of stuff. So I know how to. But I'm very similar to him. If I'm in that scenario, unless we're talking about different actors, and I'm very opinionated. No, but I agree with you. There are things I can and love to articulate about acting mm-hmm. in regard to some of the technicalities of substitution and emotional recall, yeah. and even the practicalities of memorization or improv. Yeah, but. There are some things like, why why does it come so easily for me to do Mrs. Doubtfire, but ask me to try and do Tom Hanks's voice? Mm. I, I instantly get Robin. There's some voices like, remember when we did the Joker review and I just did the laugh and yeah. you're like, that's it. And I went, wow, that seems like that one's going to be one of those that just yeah. registers real quick. Why? I don't know. Yeah. You know, it's one of the things. It's one of those things. There's, there are some things that are you yeah. just cannot articulate. And I'm very, because uh, I think it's different for him. I think he's a very introverted guy. I do too. Uh, and he's a thespian, and so he's been around a long time, and so he just knows his process. But he's also, as an actor, most actors, I feel, at least the good ones, are observers. 100%. I, I would love to be like him. Unless they were talking about the Hollywood actors or actors they like, because then I, I enjoy talking about that kind of stuff. But the uh, when the people are just talking about like their process or stuff, I love to just sit back and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a really good point. Absolutely. I, I uh, yeah. And you're, yeah, you're just I soaking would, it in. I'm I would, a soaker in, in those. I would find stuff. myself, irrespective of experience, if I was in a round table situation, let's say it's 25 years from now and there had been 25 years of working with everybody, Mm -hmm. right? And you're sitting around a round table and at that round table, there is Joaquin Phoenix and he's just done Joker. And then next to him is Leonardo DiCaprio and he's just done Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And then next to him is Meryl Streep Mm -hmm. in what she's, right? And you go around, I would be in a position of what (coughs) do I have to offer right now? Yeah. Let's just listen to them talk. And it's, you know? like, it's like what we say a lot of times. Like, I would just love to sit and watch. Like, it, like if I could... It's same with directors, too. I would love to just sit and watch Vishal or Sanjay oh. Lee Bensali. Just work. That's another one of my favorite things about background acting is I love to just sit and watch. Like, if you walk on, work on a show like CSI, you just get to watch the, this particular director and the writers and everybody doing what they do. How's, how everything is an experience. A lot of the background actors do their thing and then they go sit down and too many of them while they're sitting are talking about, well, you know, last week I was working on da 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 with da 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 and he was oh da da da. And what I'm doing is I'm off to the side and I'm watching the director of photography talking to the lighting designer and he's telling one of the grips to go and put that light up there. And I'm, I'm hearing the terminology because I just want, I'm a sponge. Mm-hmm. I want to learn everything that's going on. I want to watch that actor sitting in their chair on break they're processing their work that way. Interesting, that's what they do to their script. I've never seen an actor do that to their script. And then over there is that person over, and, and the, the people on set take note of that. Mm-hmm. And they recognize who are the professionals and who are not. Which is actually an interesting thing that he said about what Big B. Big B, I, I don't know what, maybe I'm misunderstanding what he's saying, marking his, I'm misunderstanding what he's saying, because I'm like, I, use, I don't do that. I look at what I what 100%. I'm doing because I don't actually want to know uh-huh. exactly. I want to be listening. Yeah, I, yeah. I'll know what I'm supposed to say once you say because it, it makes sense. As because I know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, it's a twofold thing for me. But though. also, I think I might be under, misunderstanding what he's saying that he does. I think what he was saying was what he does is what most actors do. You highlight your lines because mm-hmm. you're memorizing your lines, and when you reference the script, because you're not going to be like this the whole time you're doing your scene. You want to be here and reference it, and the highlighting of a line with a highlighter helps you get back to where you are. And what I guess Big B was saying to him was, why are you so self-centered and just focusing on your lines? I see both sides of that equation, because for example, uh, my goal, I would prefer, if I had the time, to memorize everybody's lines in the scene. Really? It helps me as a listener, because for example, in theater, you get so acclimated to a show, you know everybody's lines when you do it. Oh, you yeah. know everybody's lines. You know the entirety of the show. And where that comes in great with listening is if an actor does something different with the line, it triggers something different in you. And if they drop a line, you can save the scene. And the scene doesn't end. True. And that's what's great. If you ha- But see, 
especially TV actors, TV actors don't often, they can barely have the time to memorize their own lines. Mm -hmm. So with a TV actor or a film on a tight budget that's shooting quick and they're making quick changes, especially a 13 minute shot where you're just shooting 10 pages of dialogue. Which is incredible. Uh, I, I see both sides. I think the, the bigger point Big B is making is I hope that as you're highlighting your lines, you're not thinking about this as just your scene. Hmm. Yeah, because yeah, that's why I say I want to know what Big B's talking about when he's yeah. saying you should. Because if it's also like just highlighting their lines, I'm like that distracts me because I have the highlighter, so I can. I have too much ADD in my head to <laughs> no, figure out which color. But you is know this. There are some actors. There are some actors who are only acting when they speak, mm -hmm. and when yeah. you're talking to them, they're giving you nothing. Gotcha. You know what I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if, if I, yeah, Big B, I'm sure he's saying, I, I really hope you're not that actor mm -hmm. who's thinking about just that you're acting only when you're talking. But also, how, what an amazing experience that is to learn from Big from B. somebody like that. I would just be like, I would just be like a little kid. Tell me how. <laughs> have you seen, uh, have you seen the, uh, in addition to The Irishman being on Netflix, they have an accompanying like half hour round table. That's just a conversation about the making of The Irishman with Scorsese, De Niro, Pesci, and Pacino, sitting in a restaurant booth, having drinks and talking. That's amazing. So after The Irishman, watch that. Mm. It's, it's just to watch these legends talk about the craft and talk about each other is just... Yeah, and, and we enjoy that, which is why I, I really enjoyed this. Yeah. Uh, I enjoy the actors talking. I, All I really, day. I really enjoyed them talking, because it was funny that immediately when they said what performance and they went broad they went all the way to hollywood uh, especially shahid yeah shahid and ranveer were like Phew. yeah the they were like uh, obviously they just saw joker which yeah. was an amazing performance but then they talk about you know Django, Django Lewis. pulp and fiction so stuff we, dogs. we talk about all the time better. obviously they appreciate the stuff that goes on in hollywood but it frustrates us even more because I want there to be such a seamless integration between the amazing actors that come out of india and the actors that come out of Hollywood. It Correct. shouldn't be like Bollywood and Hollywood. Agreed. And I, obviously I know there's thousands of other... I mean, we're, yeah, other, we're obviously making Indian film into one terminology. Indian, sorry. But Indian film. It should be as like, uh, seamless as... Oh, we need a, a really good villain. Call Nawaz. Call Nawaz up. Have, a, have him come over here. Yeah. Or like if they need somebody over here, they're like, oh, who's a really good... Call Paul Bettany. Call Paul Bettany to come over and do this white uh, British role that he would be amazing for in a thousand films in India. Yes. Uh, and that's why we wish it was such a, a much more seamless yeah. not a, oh, this is our industry. Right, and we've talked about sacred games. We should hear people talking about sacred games here the way they're talking about every other series because, that's being talked about. Because you know there's people in... Indian industry and people in Hollywood that really admire each other. Yeah. And so there should be a very seamless way for Ranveer to act with, if he was acting, Daniel Day-Lewis or, or whoever in this, Shahid, to right. act with Joaquin Phoenix. Right, and you're not just putting them into the Indian role. Oh, no. You know, we're talking about seamless integration that yeah. should be happening because these are the two global leaders in cinematic artistry. Nobody else is do people are doing great things artistically. We know that from international films, but as far as the amount of people being impacted by cinema, yep. India is the biggest. Mm -hmm. So uh, why we haven't seen a greater integration is, I agree with yeah, you, it's, it's really it's, frustrating. It's, it's really frustrating because that's, that's what I really want. I just, I just want to see good acting on the screen and I want to see people realize, um, almost everybody in this, I think is, is a supremely talented actor. I, and and I, I, you feel the same way. I feel that people in America are being as robbed of, yeah. of the richness of a performance by not knowing about Amitabh Bakshan, for example, mm -hmm. as I would hearing anybody who would say to me, oh, I've never seen Robert De Niro in a film. I feel the same way. Someone who would say to me, I've never seen Amitabh Bakshan, my, I, that would be like, you don't, you don't realize what you're, what you're missing mm -hmm. in the gravitas and the believability of someone in a role that is a heavyweight film actor. Uh, it's just... Uh, I would have loved to have seen Nawaz in this little round table. Though. Oh man, I, I really would love to hear... You know what else I would love? A round table like this with directors. I'd like to see Zoya and Vishal Bardwaj. I think they do it. Do they? 
I think they do because they, they yeah. also they also did a female one and it has. I don't think it has Priyanka. But, Writers, yeah, but cinematographer. I think the the one he's the the same guy did a female one. I think it has Alia, Depika, the Tapsy, and a few others that oh, I can't, I would love I to can't watch remember. That. So I don't know if that one's subbed as well. But but yeah, if there's like Vishal, Sanjay Lee Bansali, oh, the uh, Anurag Kashyap, uh, just <laughs> these, Zoya, yeah, Zoya. Just it would be incredible because like we, you know, we're fans of just acting and cinema and, and the art form of cinema. That's what so. we that's what we enjoy. Obviously, yeah. I hope you know that by now, <laughs> and hope you are too. Yeah, if you're around right now, thank you for sticking. Yeah, around. you are hardcore stupid baby. Yeah, because uh, that was that was great. I really enjoyed that. I did too.